your design process is going to be streamlined and your booking rates are going to increase. What's up everyone and welcome to my channel Noble is Global. My name is Noble or si tu hablas español you can call me Noble. All right so you've made your Airbnb profile and you're really really excited and then all of a sudden you get to this one little question and that is what is your Airbnb title? And I know it's very daunting. Um, I have a tendency to overthink certain things like this. I don't know if you're anything like me, but it took me a hot minute to make my Airbnb title. So there's a really simple structure that you have to follow. And if you have these three elements that I'm about to list, your listing is good to go. It's going to help you with the rest of your description, even with your design process. Que rico! The catchiest, the most enticing, and the most intriguing Airbnb titles have these three elements. A unique adjective, the house type, and a specific highlight. And so you know how I was talking about the design process being influenced by your title? It is going to come specifically from the unique adjective. So like, let me give you an example. If I say that my house is like a serene bungalow or like a calm apartment or um, I don't know, like a tranquil home, that unique adjective is going to influence the design process from that point on. Automatically, I'm going to think like tranquil. Okay, that means that there's a certain type of decor. There's going to be a certain kind of mood, a certain kind of scent. All of that stuff is going to come from that one word. Am I trying to go for like a spa-like vibe or am I going to go for something eclectic? Eclectic gives me rooms that would look like what I have in my Airbnb right now. So that's a great example of how the unique adjective is going to help influence your journey. It doesn't have to be something that you've already achieved yet. It could be something that you want to work towards. Y tienes que hacerlo así. All right, so what we're going to do now is a little bit of A-B testing. I want you all to pick the stronger title for yourself. Ahí vamos. Okay, mira, nosotros vamos a escoger entre A y B. Is it going to be A, cute one-bedroom apartment in Oakland? Or is it going to be B, chic studio apartment, five-minute walk from Lake Merritt? And the correct answer is... B, chic studio apartment, five minute walk from Lake Merritt. And I'm gonna explain why. It has all of the three elements that I mentioned before. We've got the unique adjective, which is chic. We've got the apartment is the house type. And then lastly, we have a specific highlight, which is that it's five minutes away from Lake Merritt. Choice A is not a bad title by any means. It's just not a very strong title. And that's because it's not specific. I mean, a one bedroom apartment in Oakland could be anywhere. Is it in like East Oakland or is it close to like Berkeley? We don't know. If you're enjoying this video, now's a great time to hit the subscribe button below and give this video a thumbs up. If you need some help with your title, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll do my best to reply to each one. All right, time for a second question. Let's go. Is it going to be A, historic loft, explore Casco Viejo on foot? Or is it going to be B, two bedroom, one bath apartment in Panama City, close to everything? And the correct answer is A, Historic Loft, Explore Casco Viejo on foot. And the reason why, it's a shorter title. It gets straight to the point. I know that I'm going to be in a loft. It's historic, which already has my mind intrigued. And when I look at the photos, I'm like, all right, how historic are we talking? It was this built in like the 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s. What are we talking about here? And then lastly, Casco Viejo is a really famous part of Panama City in Panama. Oh, I'm not talking about Panama City, Florida. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> The second title is not a bad title either, but it's just not very specific. Explore Panama City on foot. Panama City is quite big. Like you could be in San Miguelito or you could be in Casco Viejo. It really doesn't tell me where I'm going to be at. I'm in Panama. This is good. So my quick tip is to make sure that you abbreviate where possible. It's going to make sure that you hit that 50 character limit that Airbnb has for their titles. And I've given you an extensive list right here. And lastly, I want to talk about the... She's going through something. Sorry. She hi, baby. She hi, baby. She's so cute. All right, lastly, I want to talk about the specific highlight. This is basically something specific in your home that you want to entice people to book their stay with you. Common things that people are looking for would include like a patio, a king size bed, a pool, free parking, a specific location. And I've got a little bit of homework for you. Go into the Airbnb platform and I want you to find listings that excite you just from the title alone. Before you even click anything, I want you to find titles that make you want to book. So I hope that I've been able to help alleviate some of the stress around creating your Airbnb title. There's no need to overthink. Just a simple formula. And if you have these three elements, your Airbnb listing is going to be so competitive. Your design process is going to be streamlined. And your booking rates are going to increase. My next video is going to be talking about how to make a money-making Airbnb description you will not want to miss out. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.
Estamos creando un dibujo con nuestro título. <laughs> Muy fácil porque todo está hecho en el título. To help this, to gonna have a unique, it's gonna art and it's gonna, um, I've got character and I'm okay with that. So you know what, I'm gonna hit the book button. 